Okay, sorry if I uh, camera cut short. I had some old batteries left over, and I didn't know how long it was gonna last me for this uh, this computer cam I have. So anyway, here's the uh, the fourth part of my review for um, Ultimate Optimus Prime and his uh, his trailer combine. So yeah, um, now compared to um, Ultimate Bumblebee. Ultimate Optimus Prime is not very ultimate, especially when his head is out of proportion. I know a, a lot of people did some uh, head modifications on on their Ultimate Optimus Prime by uh, uh, unscrewing the the mech tech weapon from the from the the helmet and uh, using some alcohol to erase the the target marking on on the on the on the front of the visor of the of his uh, his helmet. To make him more proportionate and uh, compared to his body, so yeah. And now, like I showed you in my uh, my update video, I like to give him the our Armada Prime look. I am um, pulling these aside and and these these antenna things uh, as a. Uh, Gun looking things. So basically, that doesn't look too bad. So, yeah, there you have it. His uh, other mode will get to that in a bit. Now, I was hoping I would. Uh, show you some, uh, if he has a mech tech weapon on the forearms, but he doesn't, but he does, however, have it on top of his, uh, shoulder pads here. So, therefore, I like to put his, um, skids and mudflaps weapons on top. Like so. Give him more... a crazy battle mode. what I like to call it. Yeah, so that doesn't look too bad. Okay, now we're gonna use his giant mech tech weapon. All right, so here it is. What you want to do is um, pull this out like so, and uh, pull this down brown or gold paste, whatever. And we'll fold this at an angle. We'll plug in the back of Prime's uh, trailer armor. Try to get the hole in, in place. Ah, there we go. Okay. okay so. <laughs> so then, trying to yeah, it's a little tricky. There you go. Yeah, just a very tight snap. We end up uh, we'll rotate around. So on the back here, got these little tabs on the cooling system here, and the, the tabs that lock it into place. Well, not exactly lock it, just plug it in. So now that his uh, mech tech weapon is, uh, is plugged into the back of him, I will show you his, uh, should I say, butterfly mode, or dragonfly, whatever you, whatever you prefer. Yeah, um, hold on a moment. This can go out. Uh, raise the camera a little higher so I can talk, tell you what I'm going to show you. For the, the wheels here, it's supposed to, on the instructions, it's supposed to fold in like that on both sides here. 
Uh, most people just uh, leave them out like this, which I mostly like to do. And now we'll fold over his mech tech weapon. Oh, before I show you that, um, we'll discuss articulation to you. Of course, his head does rotate, and he's got articulation in his arms here. Full size, but his uh, his knees do not uh, bend. The, the we have very tight uh, rotation on here. And they have do have a swivel on both sides. And uh, they, the, the thighs can only go back and forth. They cannot uh, move. They cannot move forward. And uh, there's no waist articulation either. All right, now let's do the mech tech weapon here. So we'll pull. I think we gotta put them in a little more. There we go. Yeah, I didn't quite get his uh the back peg in all the way. <laughs> Again, this side do it. It's easier. Tech weapon pointing forward. Let's do the electronic gimmicks here, like the button on the left here, and the one on the right. And now the main gimmick. Now we'll do it again. Okay, getting the one where he uh, says his catchphrase. Yeah, just like a uh, leader class revenge falling up in the front. And there's mech tech ports on here too, so you can substantially put uh, skids and mud flap weapons on, on here. He is um, taller than the, the leader class figures, which I showed you in my uh, update review. Just said uh, when he's uh, he's not like this trailer, he's like um, Voyager size, and when he's uh, is like with his trailer, he's he's a little taller than leader class size. And yes, I'm I am thinking about getting the the Japanese Jetwing Optimus Prime. I'm just gonna. Put it on a hold for now, but yeah, and he looks. I know he looks cool and all. He's a an obvious retool of a Revenge of Fallen Leader Prime with uh, some extra stuff like the, the jetpack and the guns and everything else. Yeah, that's why he looks pretty sweet. Buy it now if I had the money, and uh, see if I can uh, have enough room on this on the screen here to show you a size comparison between the. Ultimate Prime and the the Office Prime Jet Fire Combo from Revenge of the Fallen. Oh yeah, you can see the difference. He's um, Ultimate Prime is a tab taller than the Office Prime Jet Fire Combo. Not surprisingly. 
Well, I must say I uh, mildly recommend the uh, Ultimate Alpha Prime. Overall, I give him like a seven and a half out of ten because um, I was hoping he would uh, be a little larger than that. I mean, when his his individual robot mode I'm trying to fix his wings there, I got the other side up a little. I'm going to back up a little so you can see a lot better. Yeah, so... Yeah, I know I said I wasn't going to get him in my, uh, my Alpha Prime update review, but... I just had, a, like I said, I had a, a small change of heart, but... If I uh, ruin everyone's good time and say I wasn't uh, bad mouthing his this toy in my uh, my update, and uh, sorry if I ruin everyone's good time, but all in all, he's not a bad figure. I give it that. He is better than the Dark and Moon Voyager Optimus Prime, the the regular one, not the not the Walmart exclusive with the Commodore. Because that's just a, a repaint of uh, Takara Battle Hooks Optimus Prime. He may not have uh, articulation in his legs, but still, I, if, if you want to buy him, I say simply go for him. That depends on you. And, uh,. If you, you want to do a, a helmet modification for me, it's, uh, it depends on you as well. Yeah, I'm just going to leave him the way he is, so. Leave him original. Even though he's, um, his head is out of proportion compared to his body, he's not using his, uh, his mech tech weapon. Still, his, uh, his tractor and his trailer look pretty sweet. Even though he's not leader class. He is better than uh, Revenge of the Fallen Devastator, as I stated before. Yeah, so. Yeah, I... I know I shouldn't have missed out on Ultimate Bumblebee. I didn't realize how compl complex his uh, transformation was going to be. There, there was, a, like, two versions. It was a 2007 version and there was an RLTF version. Good enough, I just have the Battle of Bumblebee and Leader Class Bumblebee. Yeah, so. Hope you like this review, and uh, this has been my fourth part review for uh, Ultimate Optimus Prime. And eventually I'll do some more reviews soon, but. Yeah, I'm sorry if I sound a little rusty in my, uh, my earlier parts of the review. I just came back from work and. <laughs> It's been a long day. I had a busy Thanksgiving week. Well, I hope you guys had a good one. So, and, uh, hope you join me in my next reviews. And thanks for watching. Have a great day. Web2 signing out.